guys and welcome to my channel thank you guys for coming back thank you guys for watching my previous videos i really really do appreciate it um yeah so what's the first thing i want to talk about the first thing i want to say is i got engaged like oh 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 can you see it can you see it let's see if it zooms properly boom first fist bump oh <laughs> I got engaged and it's really really exciting um it was very romantic a lot more romantic than i actually thought he could be which is really nice uh so yeah i'm engaged yeah. today i'm going to be talking about the x factor yeah i did it i did it talk about the x factor um so one thing that i've come across you know as an aspiring singer is people always 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 tell me Oh my god you should go on the x factor oh my god you should go on the x factor oh you should go on the voice and i'm like cool and it's really weird because i always wonder like do they think that i'm under a rock like do they think that i live under a rock like why do they make that suggestion like everybody thinks that they're the smart like okay that sounds really rude but everybody almost feels like they're like smart that like, the smartest person in the room like they've thought about something that you haven't thought about and i'm just like no like i thought about it yeah <laughs> anyway so let me start by saying um i used i was literally in love with simon cowell like i watched or like i think i watched about seven or eight seasons of american idol like i loved that show i loved simon cowell like i was in love with him like he was he was my guy like you know like my dude like he just spoke the truth all the time and we always had similar like you know views on like singers exactly. so when i kind of found out that he was in the uk i was really excited i was like oh my god this can happen and remember after uni i thought okay this is my time like i've finished uni i've done what i'm supposed to do for the parents um uh, so now i'm gonna do what i want to do for myself so i thought i'm gonna apply for the x factor so i think i applied like late 2009 and my audition was for early may um and my dad unfortunately died um at the end of 2009 so i actually had to go back to nigeria for the funeral and if you're nigerian or if you're african you know that it's never a straightforward thing so instead of taking you know a couple of weeks or taking a month or so it took i was there for several months you know three four months um, so um, when i actually had to fly back when it was time to fly back i don't know if you guys remember um when there was volcanic ash in the air so planes couldn't fly so i remember my my um flight had to be cancelled and it was just a whole thing i just thought you know what i'm never gonna make it back like is this audition gonna happen but i did make it back and i came for my audition and i did i didn't come with anybody because i remember just thinking i just want to go and do it on my own um so yeah i went and it was exactly what you see on tv you know when they pan they pan out like you just see this massive crowd of people i was in that massive crowd like it was huge and we stood there for hours i got there early in the morning about 9 10 and yeah it was wow the queue was very long um anyway eventually it's the process is you you stand in the queue for a long time which means they get to have the massive shots that they use to show how, how many people actually came for the auditions and then Dermot does like his little talk thing, asks a few questions to some people and then they start letting people in. And then eventually you there's like on the floor, I think it was at the it was at the O2 Arena. So on the like on the stage bit they set up like all these cubicles. I think they had about 20 or 30, probably even more, I'm not really sure, but there were lots of cubicles and when you get called up, they just assign you to a cubicle and you go in and you sing. So I got in there and I sang and I remember thinking, cool. Up next so i sang and they started asking me questions about myself about my life and i just didn't want to give a sob story like oh my dad died and yeah i'm here i made it through i didn't want to do that i just wanted to be like look i'm singing i sang do you like it or not i think that was kind of where i was um so yeah i just said yeah i went to uni i just graduated from uni and this 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 and it was just very plain and then they said to me oh unfortunately this time you haven't made it through and i remember feeling a mixture of like emotions like a bit like sad and a bit like whoo i don't have to go through that process 
um i just thought oh gosh i have to go back home and tell everybody i think that was the biggest thing because i think i told a lot of people that i'm auditioning because that's when i actually thought it was they would there was a chance that they would see me on tv because in my head when i watched the actual show all i actually saw was people in this massive crowd and then the next step was that you see them audition in front of Simon and the other judges. So I thought that was what's gonna happen, not knowing that, you know, you get into a cubicle and this is like a, a massive process. I was like, whoa, okay, cool. So um, so I had to go home and tell everybody and that wasn't cool. And I thought about it and I said, you know what, if you don't succeed, right, as they say, you dust yourself off and you try again. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try again and just make sure, I wanted to be certain that they didn't like my voice or they didn't like me and it just was what it wasn't anything else it wasn't because of a story or whatever so i said i'll apply again but this time i didn't really tell anybody else i was going to apply so i got my audition date and i went to the audition same process but this time when i got in there i think i was a lot more relaxed i think i probably wasn't as like emotional as i was the first time so i went in there and i did my singing and um I kind of I think I went for it a, li a little bit more and then they asked some questions and I still didn't want to kind of go into any story about anything too deep or any sob story or whatever but this time they said oh my god really like your tone really like this really like that um so this time you've made it through and I think I was in shock I was like are you serious and they were like yeah I was like really they were like yeah I was like whoa oh my god and they gave me like a little yellow ticket which is like the golden ticket like Ooh, like it was so exciting and I got that and I was like really really like I don't know i was so surprised that i didn't know what to do so i then had to call my mom and say oh uh so i've actually been at the x factor auditions all day and i made it through like the first round because i didn't tell anybody because i just didn't want to go through that process again i, I was like look i will take this to my grave like it will go to my grave with me like if i don't make it through it'll be like oh she auditioned that one time and that that's all you know i was like mm -mm, nobody needs to know so yeah, anyway i think i was there for about 12 hours from like 9 till 9 or 10 till 10 i can't remember it was it was a long day because then after getting through that we had to then queue up um for the next bit where they had to like give you some more details and just grab your details so it was quite a long process um and i went home and i can't remember how long after the first audition the second audition was but then i just realized oh my god there's several steps to this thing it's not just hey you audition and then hey you meet simon like no about there's several steps so uh, <laughs> yeah so i went back for the other the next audition and this time it was a much smaller event it's more like everybody that had gotten through was invited so it was a much smaller venue um and yeah the first thing that we had to do was actually sign up sign something uh sign a doc a document right and I remember thinking, what is this I'm signing? Like, I went by myself again. Or did I go by myself? I can't remember if I took my brother. I can't, I'm not really sure. Anyway, I had this document that I had to sign. And I just didn't know what it was. Like, there was a lot of information in there. And I I was like, what is this? Like, what am I signing? I think there was something about music and your music and maybe signing away your music or they have right to your music or something like that. And to be honest, in hindsight, they probably meant the music that you produce from the X Factor. But for me, I just thought, oh my God, I've been writing, I've been recording. Does that mean that they have access to my music from from before this show? Is that what that means? And I was like, I put a lot of work into that, you know, into recording those songs and writing those songs. And those are my songs. And I think there was other things in there that just made me really, really uncomfortable. Um, and I wish I'd had, you know, a lawyer or someone that was more, more of a grown up to actually read through this thing and just be like okay cool so i think i read that i was like oh it made me really 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 uncomfortable so when i did go through to the audition there's a lot of people with their families oh, there and i just kind of was there by myself or whatever and um i went into a room and it was a much bigger room this time so it was a big room not a little cubicle it was a big room and there was about two or three people behind the desk and then you had to sing and when i finished singing they were like oh we really like what we're hearing we like this we like that um and then they said um i think i don't know if they actually sing another song i think i might have sang two songs um just to kind of show like what i could do and then they asked me about myself again and i just thought to myself oh here we go like the sob story and i think i wasn't really still willing to give any more of myself i just wanted to be there for the music for the voice you know 
and I didn't want to kind of bring my life too much into it like things that I've been through and stuff like that I just didn't want to bring my family into it I think I wasn't really ready for that um and I think when I when they asked me what I did and who I am when I was done it was kind of just like both of us just you know I'm staring at them they're staring at me and they're thinking nothing more like no sub story nothing we can kind of sell and I was kind of just like no this is it like yes or no type thing um and then they said unfortunately this time you haven't made it through and I was like ah oh, damn it and I was kind of just like okay should I have done what they probably wanted me to do or should I just have stuck to who I am and I think I was more I think when I realized that um when I realized that there's so many stages before you actually get to the first stage that you see on TV um, and they've let all these people that can't sing and have no talent and are just there to look crazy through I actually realized it's actually an entertainment show it's not about the music it's not about the voice it's just about entertainment and ratings and you know advertising and all, all those things and it really really upset me and to be honest i haven't really watched the x factor since then i haven't watched a series since then i might watch it if like rihanna or beyonce or somebody i want to watch is performing on there but i actually haven't watched it i don't know the contestants yeah. so yeah that's my x factor experience so you guys out there when you see me please don't ask me about the x factor don't ask me to go on the x factor because i have done it and yeah i don't want to do it again i don't know if i i, I mean you never say never but yeah i tried and i think if i was to go again i'm more mature i know kind of what they're looking for what they want it'd probably be a different experience and maybe to be honest i might be a better singer now than i was before more confident now than i was before so there's a lot of you know a lot of factors to take in but i have been on the x factor and that's my x factor experience for you guys who don't know the x factor is not what you see on tv there's a lot of stages beforehand and um, it's actually a lot of hard work that goes into it like it's not just what you see it's really 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 tough before you actually get on TV for the first episode um, so yeah that is my X Factor experience I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have been on the X Factor if you guys were on the X Factor um, 2009 or 2000 and, no 2010 2011 comment below we can bond on our experiences and if you guys have been on the X Factor and gone even further than I did then also you know leave your comments I want to hear from you guys I want to hear what you guys went through um what what more they asked from you um yeah so that's it really thank you guys so much for watching and hope you guys can go back watch my go back and watch my other videos my covers that I've put up um and just my other videos to get to know a little bit more about me um, you guys should remember to subscribe follow me on instagram i'm gonna put all those links below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much have a good week good weekend good day wherever you are whatever you're doing just have fun and just live life bye guys